Now let's go over how to add a color correction to your lens. Now a color correction is just something that changes kind of the look and feel of your lens. It can be something as simple as just making it black and white, or you can make some more complicated changes such as just changing the colors of the shadows or the midtones or the highlights. You'll often hear these types of filters referred to as LUT filters. That is L-U-T, which stands for lookup table. Now, Lens Studio has a bunch of these lookup tables already included. You can kind of mix and match those. But if you do want a more specific look, you can create that in your image editor. So I'm here in my image editor. I'm using Affinity Photo. Feel free to use Lightroom, Photoshop, Photopea, whatever you want. And what I've done here is I've just added six random images. Now you can go somewhere like Pixabay or Pexels and just look at images. And what I did was I just wanted some images of people, a bright background, maybe a little darker and some different skin tones. Because since we're messing with the colors, we want to make sure that it looks good in as many places as we can. Now, if we zoom in the middle, you'll notice this little blocky picture here. So this is the base lookup table that Lens Studio uses. Now, you don't need to create this from scratch or anything. Uh, Lens Studio actually provides it to us. You go to, back to your browser and on the Lens Studio website, uh, just search for lookup table. And here in our search results, um, in the guide section, we want to click on post effect. And if we scroll down just a little bit, we can see the base lookup table. So if you click that link, it'll just be the image. So you can right click, save image as, and then open it up in your editor. So here I've just opened it as a new layer. So I have my base lookup table just as its own layer here. And then I just group the rest of my images here. We'll be able to see what those adjustments are doing with all these sample images. Then when we're done, we'll export just this lookup table with our changes applied. So since we want these changes applied to all the photos and we want to be able to adjust them, we're going to use adjustment layers. And this is why I don't recommend using GIMP because GIMP currently does not have adjustment layers. You want to use something like Photoshop or Finny Photo, um, or if you're using Lightroom, you can use that as well. So just a quick look, if I go to black and white, that will desaturate all the images. If I scroll in on the lookup table, we can see that this has been desaturated. Lens Studio would be able to use this to apply black and white effect to our lens. Okay, so I've added a couple adjustment layers. It's nothing fancy. Uh, so if we zoom in, we can see the base lookup table. If I disable those adjustments, you can see it's changing. So let's turn those on and let's select just this layer. And I'm going to export that layer as an image. I know we're creating a LUT filter with Lens Studio, uh, but this is actually a separate type of file that a uh, different kind of image and I think video editors can read. Uh, we want to export uh, this image, not the LUT file. Make sure you don't do export LUT, just export. You want to keep it as a PNG image. And we don't want to export the entire image. I want my selection area. And not the selection only, not just the layer. I want the selection area so we get those um, adjustments applied. And then just make sure the size is 256 by 16 and export that. All right, now I'm back in the studio. And the first thing I want to do is import that uh, LUT image that I created. Now I can come here and click on the plus from files and find the image. Or if you have it open in another window, you can actually click and drag it in and it will load in. So here is our own lookup table. So let's get it applied to our lens. So in the objects panel, we're going to click the plus button. We want to scroll down and we can see inside post effects, there's a color correction. But what I actually recommend is adding a color correction here. The reason being these ones, we can adjust the strength of them. Uh, so go ahead and just select any that you want. Uh, you can choose empty. It's no post effect. Now you can see here we have a new uh, post effect added to our scene. And in the inspector panel, we have this texture. We click this box, we can select our LUT, and now you can see it is applied to the image. If you decide it's a little too strong, you can bring this alpha down so it's not as pronounced. Now, if you don't want to create your own LUT, a Lens Studio has a bunch built in. So if we come back to the objects panel and we go to color correction, you can see all these different ones here. So if we select uh, something like monochrome, let's turn off the other one we made. You can see this sort of effect here. So if you want, you can actually adjust the strength. You can layer different color corrections together to achieve a unique look. 